everyone welcome to this update video i hope you're doing well this morning we're going to be taking a look at what is going on across the atlantic and we can see that there is some activity across some areas and uh, that would include central america especially for parts of mexico there's that blob lots of showers and thunderstorms there for the caribbean on a whole many areas have not experienced any substantial rain over the past day but others such as trinidad and uh, trinidad and tobago certainly have and that's helped out with the heat because it's been so hot in the area so you know that rainfall relief definitely helpful headed towards the african coast there we're seeing that blob we've been seeing this kind of activity over the past weeks and eventually we're going to have our first tropical wave being marked right off the african coast so of course i'll keep you guys posted on that but again going to the caribbean it has been so hot so dry for many of us as we look at the rainfall forecast for today, for parts of the Florida Peninsula and even uh, the northern Bahamas, there could definitely be some showers and thunderstorms as well. Cuba, the Cayman Islands, Jamaica, Hispaniola, even headed to Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands. There could definitely be some showers around in some spots today. Maybe not very widespread though. And that would be the same story through the Lesser Antilles, Anguilla, all the way down to Trinidad and Tobago. ABC Islands, Aruba, Curacao, Bonaire, there could definitely be some rain around for you guys as well. And then Northern South America, Colombia, Venezuela, and especially Guyana, we're seeing those purple and pink shadings popping up. There could be some really heavy rain in some areas today, flood trigger and rain in that. And then for Central America, for parts of Panama, Costa Rica, Nicaragua, heading up to uh, Guatemala and even Mexico, there could be some additional heavy downpours as we head throughout today. As it pertains to the wind forecast, it's going to be windy in the south and northwest Caribbean, especially in the vicinity of the Bay Islands off Honduras. And then later this evening uh, for the ABC Islands, it's going to be quite windy, not so windy in the north. And with the heat, that is the worst combo because when it is very windy, that helps out a bit with the heat. But then when it's very tranquil, and I mean no clouds in the sky, the sun is just out there in its glory. I mean, we love the sunshine, but it is very hot for sure. However, we're going to be seeing that significant increase in rainfall across some areas as we head throughout this week. So we're going to be taking a look at what the Euro and GFS models have to show. So let's kickstart things with Euro. All right, so where we're seeing all these shades of greens and these yellows popping up, that is indicative of the precipitation rate. And there we have the time. So as we're going to be heading into early this week, nothing much. However, we start to see that rainfall increase in parts of the Caribbean, Jamaica, and other parts of the northern uh, Caribbean. And then eventually, we see a lot going on in the central Caribbean within the vicinity of Jamaica, Hispaniola as well. And eventually, that system makes its way out. So it's going to be a trough that really helps to enhance the rain across the region. And this could trigger instances of a lot of thunderstorm activity and sometimes with that winds definitely kick up and there is a lot of heavy rain which may trigger flash flooding especially in those flood prone areas so as we're going to be heading toward the middle of the week we're definitely going to be seeing that rainfall activity increasing in the caribbean GFS is in agreement with this. Let's take a look at the simulated satellite imagery. This is not exactly what it will look like, but it's what it may look like. So again, there we have the time as we're going to be heading into the early part of the week. Much not expected across the Northern Caribbean, but take a look at that. We see a lot of activity uh, moving up to the north, coming in from the south. Now, GFS, unlike Euro, is keeping a lot of this uh, further to the east. If that is the case, then areas such as Jamaica and even Cuba may not experience as much rain. But if there is enough moisture within the vicinity of Jamaica is what the Euro model is forecasting, then there will definitely be quite a bit of rain in those spots. So generally, Cuba, Jamaica, even parts of the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos Islands, Hispaniola, Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands should definitely be watching for that system as we're going to be heading into the next couple of days so as of right now nothing is there in the caribbean but as we head into tuesday we should start to see that increase in rainfall in uh, all that convective activity in parts of the south caribbean but of course guys i'm here to keep you posted on it and also there is that dust around so some areas still being blanketed by the dust and uh, other parts of the caribbean such as the greater antilles will definitely be blanketed through the early part of this week and so guys, that is pretty much what I wanted to share with you in this update video. 
I really do hope you found it to be very informative. But if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll respond when I can. And remember to always be weatherwise.